Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to learn how to knit this beautiful stitch and I've seen it on YouTube under different names but the most common one that I've seen on YouTube and Instagram is called Honeycomb Brioche. Now I don't really know why it's called Honeycomb Brioche because it doesn't really involve the brioche stitch. Um, it kind of, it, it's, it's an interesting stitch. It's very easy to work. Um, it does use up a lot of yarn uh, as you can see it's quite squishy and doubled um, but it's beautiful it kind of works as an insulator so it would be good as a scarf or as a cowl or as a hat I think it will work really nice um, obviously I'm giving you instructions on how to knit it in the flat and I will also have a video um, with the instructions how to knit them in the round because it, it, it's kind of the same uh, way, but it's got a little twitches, obviously, because you work in a spiral instead of working in the flat. Um, this is what it looks like on the front. Um, it curls a tiny bit um, here. Uh, maybe if you go up a needle size, it wouldn't, it wouldn't curl as much, uh, but I wanted it to be quite dense. Um, this is what it looks like on the front and this is what it looks like on the back it looks quite nice on the back as well it's very very squishy as you can see I press it down and it's quite you know soft um, it uses a lot of wool so as you can see I've only done this much and I've gone through quite a bit of my skein this is a 50 grams of drops nipple um, and this is all I've done with it. It will take quite a bit uh, in order to, to kind of make it into a cowl or, or, or a scarf, but it's really nice. It's very soft. Um, so when you start, obviously you do your cast on and then you want to work one row of knit stitches, which will put you on the right side with pearl bums. And you can see here the pearl bums uh, they will be here at the bottom on your first round, but um, That's your setup row and then all you got to do is repeat these two rows That I'm going to show you So pretend that I've done my pearl row here. So I've got my pearls uh, my pearl bouts here after my uh, cast on and then you want you want to slip your first stitch with the yarn in the back and then if you're on the first row, you will just um, knit one, knit one below, and do that to the end. Knit one, knit one below, knit one, knit one below. That's what you do on the after your setting up row. However, I am far up ahead, so I, the the way I know where I'm at is by this. So I slip the first stitch and then I see this stitch has two wraps at the bottom. So it's kind of, it's kind of got two pearl bums. I don't know if you can see. You can see it's got two wraps, which means that's the stitch I just want to knit. And then the one that is a normal pearl bump like this, I want to knit in the stitch below and it's right there. You want to go in the V underneath. So knit one below. Then you've got another double pearl stitch here. So I'm going to knit it. Then I've got a simple pearl stitch. I'm going to knit below. So I'm going to keep doing that until the end of the row. So that's, that's one of the... Um, harder stitches that you need to do uh, the knit one below but it's quite it's quite easy to see that hole that you need to go in underneath for your stitch below so we're going to do that all the way if you if you worry a bit all you got to do is just stretch it out a bit and then you will see there will be a V underneath and you want to put your needle in and pull it out. And then the last stitch you just knit. So that's one 
one row on the front then the next one has a weird twist as well but I'll show you how we do it so um, I'm going to slip the first stitch and then I'm going to have a look this pearl bump has two oh sorry this pearl bump has two loops again it's got one one loop here and one at the top so what I want to do is go <clears throat> Go on this side and see this loose, can you see there's a loose strand here and I want to pick up that loose strand and then through the back loop knit my next stitch through both. Don't worry I'll show you again. The next one is a simple pearl bump which I'm just going to knit. The next one if you flip your work you will see there's this this um, strand loose here it's always in between your stitches so you want to put your needle through and then put your needle through the back loop of your next stitch and knit it through both of them the next one is just a plain knit stitch and then again you want to look sorry I got to stand up so I can see the monitor uh, you want to look for this strand here and then go through the back loop and oh sorry back loop and then just pull it through and you want to be quite loose with your knitting in, in this stitch that's what I learned so the, f the top loop through the back of the next stitch pull through knit the next one there's your strand pick it and pull it through and you want to knit through the back loop because I'll tell you what I did um, without thinking I started um, a new project using this stitch and I completely forgot that I needed to do it through the back through the back loop to knit it through the back loop so knitting it through the front loop it kind of made just kind of like diagonal ridges which look like a plow like a field plowed uh, <laughs> I, maybe I will call that stitch something and knit it like that because it looked quite nice. When you get to the last stitch then you just knit it. And that's the row repeat that you do um, every, you knit every row so it's kind of like a garter style but because you pick up that loop is what makes this beautiful a honeycomb on the front of your work and uh, obviously you go to the next row and you have a look again you always slip your first stitch so slip the first stitch and then you see this first pearl stitch is um, it's only got one loop which means I'm going to knit it through the bottom I'm going to knit uh, one stitch below and then this one has two loops which I'm going to knit normally again knit one below knit one 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 and uh, on the front of your work you always knit one knit one below or knit one below knit one uh, on the back of the work is you always do that knit one knit the loop with the stitch through the back loop that's that's the way this um, this stitch will form um, and I think it's really pretty let's just finish this row and we'll turn the work and we're going to have a look again at the back of the of the work for that loop okay and knit the last stitch Turn your work, <clears throat> slip the first stitch and then we've got a normal stitch with um, just one bump here. So I'm going to knit it. Then I've got a stitch with two strands so I'm going to pick that strand up and pull my needle through the back loop of the next stitch and pull it through. Knit the next stitch, pick up my yarn 
put my needle through the back loop of the next stitch and pull it through. Knit my next stitch normally, pick my um, strand of yarn, put my needle through and pull the yarn through both of them. So that's the honeycomb brioche stitch in the flat. Now if you know it as a different stitch then just let me know what you call it. Uh, but this is the way I found it to be called on um, Instagram and on YouTube and this is the way I've been calling it but it's a beautiful stitch perfect for a scarf perfect for a hat it would be really nice for sleeves of a, uh, of a cardigan um, it would be nice for a vest. It would be nice for anything. I love this stitch so much. And I love it that you can knit it in the flat and knit it in the round the same way. Uh, and it looks the same. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And um, I will see you in my next one, which will be knit in the round. This brioche stitch. Thank you very much. Bye.